Greetings, comrades. I've had a bit of a bit of a rough couple of days. There's a fire near where I live. And it ended up getting to the power lines. So I've been out of electricity for a bit. Quite quite bad, but uh I was at least able to look around at comments on my phone, see what people were saying. Uh second bit of bad news is that apparently I forgot to save after the last recording, so I went back and did the same decision that I did last episode. The only difference is that I haven't, uh, haven't eliminated the disloyal yet. And I don't know if I'm going to, because I might still just try to keep things steady, just with cultural contentment. I mean, it's okay right now. Uh... Third bad thing, one of the comments about cultural contentment that I got is that in the Council of Ministers, I'm supposed to have Vyacheslav Eliutin as the Minister of Education. Yeah. Don't see him here. So I'm, I'm not sure why that person thought that uh, they were here. But, if it's someone else, do tell me. Uh, the other thing they told me, though, is that apparently, getting cultural enlightenment up to 250 is good, something you should do. It's, they said, at least 250. Uh, also, to secularize or go for freedom of religion, though we can't, as I checked the laws. I don't think we can, at least. Yeah, no. But everything is about the same, I think. So that's nice. Whew. Now, first things first, gonna get money. Because, of course, we're going to try to make sure that we can uh, boost cultural contentment. Uh... We'll take a little bit of money away from research, I think, just to test this out. 250 to cultural alignment. And then we want to get 250 for state mechanism. Uh, let's see, is there any other country we can drain for money? Because one thing I did end up doing in this session that I didn't record because it's basically the same, is have all the other countries kind of pull their weight. As you can see, high disapproval. Because I extracted resources from all of them. That's something that tends to not make them too happy, but oh well. They're mostly fine. Oh well. Let's get a bit more money back to the research. And just go forward. Everything is quiet. And of course profit would go down. Oh, we actually got a few more people into uh, the red. So that's nice. The USA is slowly crumbling. Also nice. Exports is decreasing though, which is a pretty bad, I would say. But yes, indeed, cultural contentment is looking pretty stable right now, which is very good. And so we can afford a little bit of corruption in the system. Soon enough, we'll be able to get that away, because we will have Ogas. <sighs> I don't think there's anyone we can actually extract resources from, unless we can do military aid, which we can. Goody, good, good. Can we do it a few more times? Apparently so. Very nice. And with the extra money, we're just going to put it all into research. 
And I do want to get to that as soon as possible. Because from what I know, it means that your corruption just tanks. Speaking of tanking, our economy, now we have so many nations trying to join us. Wait, is that what diplomatic effort does? Does it feel like effort increase revolution in our countries? Or is that is that not how that works? I think we're going to peacefully organize the Congress. Because we, we do want a little bit of political power. Huh. I would like to be able to set something in the budget to keep them, like, just under control. Uh, all these third, third world nations that slowly build up their disapproval. Because that's just a task. Who knows, maybe it's the case that we can just uh, put more in diplomatic stuffs. So let's go ahead and see about that. Oh. Of course, we don't have much money in the reserve. That's, that's always nice. Ooh. Ooh. Now we have the money, we can give, I would say, 250 diplomatic missions. Hopefully that's enough, and hopefully that doesn't drive the corruption up like crazy. Uh, let's also give a little bit of infrastructure, actually. Then how is ecology doing? Very nicely. That's good. United Yemen. In 1980, after conservative communist Abdul Fattah went to Moscow because of health concerns, he was replaced by Ali Nazir, who began moderate economical reforms and improving trade relations with the Arab countries. However, in 1985, Fatal returned and fight between them began. In 1986, when Nasir tried to organize a coup to, and execute the party, army and special services sided with Fatah. During small civil war, both layers died together with most of the military command. They were replaced with moderates who improved relations with neighbors. Now, after long negotiations with North Yemen, leader of PDRY, Ali Salim, asked a permission to unite Yemen while becoming neutral. <laughs> well, we could support the invocation, or we could refuse, or we could retire him and start installing the true communists in Yemen, which I think is uh, the path to go. All the leaders were negotiating with the UN Moscow coup took place in their country and power was seized by radical left groups. Four leaders followed your advice and decided to stay in the USSR after retiring due to health concerns and new government canceled negotiations with their neighbor and began the elimination of all capitalistic property, forcing the country to follow socialistic ideals. And we gave them a small loan to show our support. Not that small of a loan, if I'm going to be honest. But oh well. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that, that is part of it. The uh, diplomatic monies is flipping other countries over to our side. I'm not sure if it's just gray countries, though, or what. Eh. Like Congo and Mozambique and Tanzania, they're all pretty, uh, pretty revolutionary. I'm not sure why, because there is a stark difference. But uh, oh well, I'm just gonna keep getting money to fund this revolution. And see what happens. <sighs> Almost at 2,000 research. That should be pretty great for us. I, I hope so, at least. And actually, instead of infrastructure, we're going to put... 
all this money into services. Because I think the service is still lacking. No, it's actually very strong. Okay, never mind. What to put in, what to put it in. I guess more technology could be good. Cultural contentment is still steady. And that should mean that the republics are loyal, which they are not really. Huh. You know what? We're gonna purge this loyal. And we'll let the loyalty of the KGB go slowly upward. Anti-alcohol campaign. You know, what I heard is that the anti-alcohol campaign is actually lowering the cultural contentment. So we're gonna just leave it. After the anti-alcohol campaign was finished, alcohol products continued to give money to our government. Then people started to drink alcohol product more because the amount of it increased. Doctors are sounding alarm. That's not good. But hopefully it's not that bad. Uh, medicine did decrease, I would assume, because of that. But oh well. Free elections in PRC. After liberalization in China, Zhao Ziyang was appointed the president of PRC, but the situation still destabilizes. And after another wave of protests, the government had to organize first free elections in China. We're going to actively support pro-Soviet forces because uh, People's Republic of China has to be a republic of the people. Come on. So we gave secret support to the Maoists, Communists, and other pro-Soviet forces. During the election, they gained a larger number of places, but is it enough? I, I would hope so. Also, holy fuck, what is, what is happening with our loyalty? What is that? What is even going on? Also, why did the USA gain a bunch of points? I, I I genuinely have no idea what is happening with this. Is it because we have, like, moderates? No, because the pro-Soviet ones are also... ...disloyal. Huh. Conflicts in Yugoslavia. After the democratization and economical reforms, national question is actual again. The government of Ante Markovic couldn't deal with ethnical conflicts and economical crisis, which led to the transfer of power to Milosevic and militarist faction. Full-blown military conflict has started. Um, I don't actually know who... Milosevic is, so let's... Let's see here. Ah, no, he's apparently reformist. Huh. You know what, then actually we will support him, I guess, because we kind of have to. Right? I mean, what will we do otherwise? The reserves, very bad. Uh, we need to take care of that immediately, actually. And then I think we're about done with this episode. I I really don't know what to do with the Soviet loyalty. I I feel kind of trapped by it.
But, uh, I mean, otherwise, things are going okay, I think. Du, 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 du. I have six, and this is 402, so you know what? We'll just do this. Actually, from what I saw, others increases if you give the reserves lo the money, right? Like, or did I not see that correctly? Not really sure. Oh well. That'll be it for this episode. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what it is that I'm not getting. A am I not supposed to purge? Does that do long-term damage? Am I... Uh, what, what am I doing wrong here, guys?